I, I think it's it's a structural issue. It's a fundamental problem. And and bear in mind that that what we're working on these years in uh, with the European Commission and in European Parliament is is the EU's Green Deal, which basically has a vision of Europe transiting away from fossils and into a net zero carbon economy by 2050. So our demand for natural gas is declining, should decline. Okay, we have short-term issues that, that are serious, that we have to acknowledge, that we have to address, but the, the long-term solution to this is renewables rather than fossils. And this is why we have to pick up speed in rolling out renewables, be it uh, onshore wind, being offshore wind, being PV on land, et cetera, et cetera. So yes, I fully acknowledge the short-term difficulties and issues that we have and that we have to address, but as a structural issue, we have to transit away from fossils in order to fulfill our visions of a net zero uh, economy by 2050. How do we solve the short term? Because we all know the long term is just made up of lots of short term issues. And we seem to be at a point here where everybody wants to push ahead with the transition to renewable. But sometimes the sun don't shine and sometimes the wind don't blow. And then you've got a problem. How do we get around the fact that there seems to be a mismatch in timing between the ambition to take us away from greenhouse gas emitting carbon fuels and the desire to build and roll out renewable sources of energy that will compensate for the removal of the dirty stuff? But this is exactly our headache and, and, and the timing is terrible in terms of you have uh, world leaders meeting in Glasgow very soon in order to negotiate and with, with the COP26 in order to hopefully increase ambitions and ensure that this green transition actually takes place and hopefully at a larger, a faster pace than, 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 than so far that we've managed to do so far. But you're, you're pointing to, to, to the real dilemma we have here. Uh, so my worry is that this crisis will be used by Putin uh, and, and the gas industry in order to further ensure some sort of dependence. But we want to break out from this dependence. So this is going to be really, really tough. And let me add one thing. One of the big uh, obstacles in terms of, of deploying more renewables is the issues of permitting and the not in my backyard uh, issue that we see all over Europe, all over European uh, countries. You have the basically same issue that you want to roll out your renewables, but giving the permits that are needed in order to do so, uh, that is a, a real headache. So we face real challenges, real obstacles. But I hope that uh, to, to, to strike a somewhat hopefully optimistic note that we use this crisis also to make sure that we increase speed in this quick transition. If we do not succeed in this, we will not fulfill our climate objectives and we will still be in the pocket of Putin for decades to come. And this is not a good place to be.